Police shooting leaves one man dead and another in jail. WDRB's Lexi Ratterman reveals what the suspect did after the shooting. Lexi. Chris, Eric DeShields is locked up right here in jail, and that's where he'll stay unless he can come up with $100,000. That's the bond a judge ordered for him to have in court this morning. I'll keep the bond at $100,000. I do appreciate the fact that he um, turned himself in. LMPD has released very few details about the case so far. They say DeShields shot at a man near the Old Naval Ordnance Center off Southside Drive around 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon. The victim died at the hospital. In court this morning, the 29-year-old faced a judge with his attorney. The judge ordered him to have no guns while the case is going on, and he also cannot visit the place where the shooting happened or have contact with any of the employees who work there. In court, the assistant county attorney hoped to have home incarceration added if DeShields posted the $100,000 bond. Uh, based on the nature of the allegations, the county's position is that the bond of 100,000 full cash is well within the appropriate range for a charge of murder. Uh, so the county would strongly object um, to a bond reduction. In fact, we would ask for the 100,000 full cash plus a copy of posted. I need an arrest citation. Ultimately, the judge did not add HIP to his conditions. At this time, the coroner has not identified the victim. DeShields is due to face another judge next week. Reporting live, Lexi Ratterman, WDRB News.